YouTube. Camper Van Kevin here. Today I am back up in North Georgia uh, boondocking at one of my favorite places, uh, my good buddy's car lot. Uh, Fix let the, the girls and dog, girls and boys out to potty and I got a good friend fixing to stop by so I want to introduce you to him. Hey everybody, everybody got to pee? Everybody got to go potty? Yeah, I know you do. Morning, Martinis. Morning, baby May May. Morning, Tucker. Wait your turn. Baby May May goes first. Martini. And now, Tucker. Got a good level spot here. Just have to run. Uh, Two of the length levelers on each front tire to get me good and level. Everybody go potty. Huh? Uh oh. Got a dog over there. Tucker? Got two dogs. Tucker? Come here, Tucker. The prior got, got down him. to 25 degrees last night up here in Cornelia, Georgia. Mm, that's cold. That's cold. But we all stay good and warm. Did you potty? Did you potty? Huh? You did? You cold? Okay, I'll get you back inside. Now one of the fun things about this place is that they have, uh, what's it called, woodchucks? And there's a family of woodchucks that live underneath this building. When I stayed up here with my other dog, Taya, she would chase them up under the building and so uh martini come up here with uh, me and taya when she was just real little and they would both chase them up under the building so martini hasn't forgotten so whenever i let her out of the uh the rv up here it's the first thing she does she runs up here and, and just to see if there's any woodchucks out i know it's cold baby i ought to put a coat on baby may may she gets cold easy but martini is woodchuck hunting I think woodchuck is the right term. Hey, Daddy, put me back in the RV. It's cold out here. It's cold out here. My ninnies are cold. My ninnies are cold. Spin your tires, Tucker. Spin them. Spin your tires. You're a trip. You're a trip. You are. You're nuts. You're nuts. Come on, be back. Don't go too far. Here I am up on the Lynx levelers. I'm not a real big fan of those. They've actually busted and splintered and shattered everywhere up under here. This is my setup for tonight. Nice and quiet. If you remember, uh, about a year ago, I uh, had a video where uh, I had Bob up here and I was talking about uh, you need to boondock somewhere instead of trying to hide or sneak or whatever just ask You'd be surprised uh, sometimes you got to get 20 no's to get a yes but uh, most of the time you could ask two or three people in town and uh, if they don't have a place for you just ask them if they know somebody that could help you find a place and uh, I've never had very much trouble parking uh, finding a place to park of course I don't go to the big cities but I try to stay in the smaller towns there's usually somebody that could put you up. Yeah, I came in here about, gosh, 15 years ago and asked this man here if I could park somewhere out here on his car lot and spend the night one night. And he was very gracious and very nice about it. And uh, now this man's one of my very best friends. So I have full use of his place up here. And me and the gang, we can use it any time we want. Yeah, and it's convenient. Um, I'm just uh, probably half an hour from Clayton, uh, 45 minutes from Athens. I've got Wi-Fi, water, power, anything I need here. So I'm kind of excited to introduce you to uh, to Bill. You know, I don't call him Mr. Bill. He's he's a uh, he's a very good friend of mine. I met him almost 30 years ago, and he probably has more influence on me than any other one person in my life. 
Bill's an incredible person, an entrepreneur, a dreamer, visionary, uh, fantastic. And Bill is 84 years young. He just had a birthday. If anything, Bill, uh, one of my most very best friends of my life. Uh, in fact, he's he's uh, more of a father figure than a, well, he's both. He's a father figure and a friend. Just a great guy all around. He kind of looks like the Colonel from Kentucky Fried Chicken. He, uh, he taught me how to travel and how to live on the road, which was huge. He taught me the interstates, the roads, how everything worked. Um, we were out on the road and traveled together for several years. Uh, but uh, he looks so much like the Colonel <laughs> from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, I'm not real proud of this, but uh, we have gone into Kentucky Fried Chicken and got free meals saying that he was the Colonel. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> anyway, he, he's a hoot. He'll be here in just a minute. In fact, uh, Bill has uh, lived with me for the last eight years while I was in Sticks and Sticks and Bricks. Uh, he moved out about a year ago, and he has his own place. So uh, it's been a couple months since I've seen him, so I'm looking real forward to seeing him again. I think he's here. It's Bill, guys. It's Bill. There he is. Bill? Hey, Kevin. <laughs> What's that, that, good, boy? That's camper van Kevin, Bill. Oh, camper van <laughs> Kevin. I got you now. This is Billy Bofa. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. You doing all right? <laughs> you, a... You're looking good. You're tall and ugly. You got a lot of work with. It's only oak from here. <laughs> now, everybody on my YouTube channel, doesn't they favor the Colonel, Colonel Sanders? Yeah. <laughs> Tell them about all the free meals we used to get traveling out on the road. We'd go in and act like we were doing an inspection for, for KFC. Yeah, it, yeah. Free chicken's always good. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bunch of it. Oh, didn't we? <laughs> That's the reason we say up them fat. <laughs> it's, it's going, my friend. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah, I met this old boy about 30 years ago. <laughs> Put him in business. <laughs> and he's my only success story. Still in business and doing great. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. You, you trained five other people and they went under. Yeah, they all went down. <laughs> I, this I, was a success story right here. I, I was just too, uh, I was just too uh, scared to quit. I didn't know what else I was going to do if I didn't make it work. So. A little, little fear, little fear goes a long ways in uh, making you uh, a little bit successful, doesn't it? That's right. When you got, when you train a fella and give him the best job in the world, he, he can't quit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Bill is one of the main reasons that I even started camping. When I met Bill, he was living in a 27-foot, what was it? Yeah. Terry. Uh, he had a pull behind, and I never knew anybody that lived in an RV before, so. He's the one that started all this sickness. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault, Bill. It's a fever. But Bill's been traveling his, his entire life. He's run several successful businesses. He's been a trucker. And uh, he's, just, he's just a rolling stone is what Bill is. Yeah. Yeah, you'll hear about me again one of these days. You'll know Billy Bofa. <laughs> yeah. King of the Bofas. <laughs> so when you hear... The Bofa tribe, yeah, it me. Yep. Able one, able one, Billy Bofa. Able two, Billy Bofas, not both of them. <laughs> Bill's a dreamer, and he's got an idea on uh, doing some big stuff uh, as far as uh, hospice and uh, uh, fundraising to support uh, AIDS research and AIDS cure. So uh, that's Bill's lifelong dream. He's been working on it for as long as I've known him and he's getting very close to launching his program so that's what he's talking about all right Bill sure is good to see you this morning yeah good uh, good to be here I gotta get on to church yes sir and uh wish I could spend the day with you but gotta roll <laughs> this man I, this man's always on the move nice to meet everybody adios <laughs> from Billy Bofa see you Bill love you Bill love you that was fun. Bill had to go. 
but uh, what a, what a great inspiration and a, a mentor in my life. I, I just can't uh, believe how lucky I am to to have met him, and I'm glad I got to share him with you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed my little video. You guys take care. Uh, hey. Find me over on Camper Van Kevin on Facebook, too. And if you like my video, uh, hit the like button down here and subscribe. Uh, and follow me and the pack and my friends on our little adventures here. So, anyway, again, thanks for watching the video. You guys take care. Bye-bye.